we've been talking about staying cool after the storm with no power, but don't forget your pets. And joining us on The Factor on Sensor tonight, we have with us Dr. Roberta Westbrook from the Houston SPCA. Good to see you. Obviously, a lot of heat in the city of Houston and our surrounding region. And one of the big concerns is the heat for humans, but also our pets. And it's my understanding you guys have already seen uh, some emergencies with heat and animals. That's exactly right. So. It started actually in May that we began to see cases of heat distress come to our animal rescue ambulance and our cruelty department. Um, in one case in May, we had four dogs who were lost in a car. And unfortunately, one of those pets was deceased um, before we were able to save them. And so, you know, it's important that we let pet owners know that the heat is, you know, getting hotter and hotter as we move through the summer. And it's important that we protect our pets. So a few things that you want to make sure of when you're um, considering pet health in the summertime is one, make sure that your pets always have access to shade when they're outdoors. So some people may house their pets outdoors and they may um, provide food and water, but shade is important because as the day moves forward, the sun shifts. And so in the morning, you may have your pets outdoors and you may think that they're in the shade, but as the sun shifts throughout the day, at some point during the day, they could be in direct sunlight. So make sure that they always have um, access to shade and check on them frequently to make sure that they have not spilled their water or their water has not evaporated. They always have access to cool water. Now, Dr. Westbrook, a lot of dogs will resort to going into their dog houses outside if they have them. Can that be kind of stuffy for them, hot as well, even though there is shade there, or they're able to uh, handle something like that? You know, I think dog houses are important to have because yes, they do provide some shade. You wanna make sure that the dog house has adequate ventilation. So there should be at least one open side to allow air to circulate through, but it's a good way to provide shade if they're gonna be outdoors, um, protect them from the direct sunlight. And one of the things I never thought about until you just brought it up, leaving animals in hot cars. We always think about the kid because the kid can't speak, but the animal can't speak either. And they'll stay there. If their, their, their owner, their parents tell them to stay there, but that's very dangerous for them too. Yes, never leave your pet in a hot car with the windows rolled up. You know, even with the, with the car off and the windows cracked, it still gets very hot in those cars and there's just not enough circulation to prevent your pet from overheating. So you always wanna make sure that you plan appropriately so that you're not having to leave your pet in the car while you go run an errand in the grocery store. Um, maybe you have two family members, one can stay with the pet in the car so the car can be running while you run that errand. Um, you can consider um, leaving your pet with a friend or family member at home while you run those errands, but leaving them in the hot car can lead to devastating consequences, including death. And it's a very unpleasant death. You know, overheating uh, is, is going to be really unpleasant for them. Wow. Wow. We've got to be careful out there with our pets. And of course, with this heat advisory that we're expecting, uh, possibly until tomorrow, any other advice you would have for pet owners out there? And we're not just talking about dogs. We have cats. We have all kinds of pets here in Houston. Yes, it's important that especially now in the next few days, as we've just come off of the recovery efforts from um, Tropical Storm and Hurricane Barrel, we're noticing that a lot of Houston families are without power. So now we have to also be concerned that we're keeping pets comfortable in the home because we may not have air conditioning in our home and we wanna make sure that we still provide a cool, comfortable environment. So things that you can do are consider uh, if you have a backyard, keeping your pet cool and your family cool by having a pool, uh, you know, one of those, those kids pools outdoors that's perfect for pets to play in and stay comfortable, making, um, letting your pet lick on icicles or uh, frozen ice that can also help to keep them cool. Um, and then getting some battery powered fans in the area can also help to keep your pet cool, particularly indoors when you don't have air conditioning. So we're all gonna be uh, a little bit hot even indoors. We wanna make sure that our pets are protected as well. 
All right. Dr. Roberta Westbrook from the Houston SPCA. Always good to see you with your valuable advice here on the Factor Uncensored. Thank you so much, doctor.